Okay, so the next step in each one of these is the simplification. So, what? How do we simplify this? It's a complex fraction. How do you simplify a complex fraction? You, first of all, express the numerator and the denominator, if necessary, as simple fractions, okay? This isn't yet a simple fraction, it's a difference of two fractions. So how do I express this as a simple fraction? Well, I need a common denominator. The common denominator will be, well, this denominator. It's got to contain this x plus delta x. It's got to contain x, okay? Now, that almost looks like a times there, although we know better. Let me make it just a little clearer. If that's a plus, because when we're looking for common denominator, that makes a big difference. Well, x is not a factor of this, and this is certainly not a factor of x, so it's just going to be the product of these two denominators. And now how do we form that? Well, I, now I'm going to go through the details. And if you know how to do that, you can skip my details, skip ahead a little bit. And then come back and see if you really thought correctly because so few people understand how to do a common denominator other than by superstition. Okay, now all I've done is I've multiplied this fraction by x over x, which is just like multiplying it by 1. That's not going to change the value of this fraction. And over here I've done the same thing, but I've multiplied by x plus delta x over x plus delta x. And now um, I can see that I'm going to have an x in the numerator here and an x plus delta x in the numerator here, and in the denominator I'm going to have x times x plus delta x. So I've got um, x minus the quantity x plus delta x divided by quantity x plus delta x multiplied by x, all that divided by delta x. Now what's that give me? Okay, uh, the numerator up here, you got an x here, you got a minus x here. So that's going to go away. You expand this, x minus the quantity x plus delta x is x minus delta x minus minus x minus delta x. x minus x is zero, that just leaves you with minus delta x divided by x plus delta x times x. All that divided by delta x. Okay. Now, at this point, people want to start crossing out delta x's. Maybe you want to cross this one out with this one. You can't do that. There are two errors involved there. Uh, you know, first place, this doesn't divide into the denominator here. In the second place, delta x is not a factor of x plus delta x. So I don't believe in cancellation. I don't like it. People do it wrong. I don't want to see it. But if I do see it, I really want to see it done correctly. So you've got to be careful about it. What I've got here is a complex fraction that means this divided by this. So that means negative delta x over x plus delta x times x divided by delta x. Well, divided by x means multiplied by the reciprocal of delta x. And now I see that the delta x divides out and I get negative 1 over x plus delta x times x. Now I could expand this to x squared plus x delta x. It wouldn't necessarily be harmful to do that, but it's going to turn out to be unnecessary, so I'm not going to. Okay, so I've simplified this, just using simple algebra, simple algebra steps, but given the state of algebra education, these steps might or might not be completely obvious to you. Okay.
Now I'm going to talk about simplifying this expression.